Hey y'all, Elche here. Welcome back to Chase Forge. Being that tech guy, I get asked how I come up with some of my video ideas. Many times it comes from you guys. And sometimes I wait around until a good idea hits. Yeah, now that's a good idea. I bought multiple smart lights and I will let you guys know which one of these is a good idea and which one just burned out. Let's go. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Consider subscribing to see more tech videos like this one. I will be rating these seven light bulbs. I will have four categories for each light bulb and a score from ranging from zero Ralphs, this is Ralph by the way, to five Ralphs per category. Number one, how easy it was to install. Cue the how many tech guys does it take to screw in a light bulb jokes. And this will really take into place not only how easy it was to actually install and to you know, screw it into the socket, but more importantly, how easy it was to integrate into one of the apps that it comes with or doesn't come with. Number two, the app. How easy is the app to use and all the features that it has? Number three, the quality of the bulb. So lumens, colors, life, and anything associated with the bulb itself. Number four, which I think really weighs heavy on the overall decision, is the price per bulb or the system itself. And number five will be the overall score and what I think about the bulb. A few house rules before the video starts. I'll be calling this thing over here, the smile company's assistant. And I'll be calling this one over here, the search company's assistant. A few more things to work out for you guys. When I refer to uh, years of life, that's a standard measurement used by light bulb companies to rate how long the lights are rated to last for. And that's based off of three hours of use every single day. Lumens is a measurement of brightness, more equals brighter. Kelvin is the temperature of the light bulb. So really low numbers gives you a much more sunny, orangey look. Higher numbers gives you a much more softer white look. And even higher numbers gives you a much more bluish look. And lastly, all the light bulbs and systems were purchased by me. I'm not sponsored by any of them. Though, please contact me if you would like to link up. But I will have affiliated links down below for any of the items used in this video. Anything you purchase using the links helps the channel grow. Thank you very much. So we start here with the Philip Hue Smart Light System. The grandfather of all future lights to come out. Being the first and thus the longest out there has given them a lot of time to mature the tech. The initial hue required the hub, but newer versions do let you connect up to 10 light bulbs via Bluetooth with the range of the Bluetooth to control or about the range of that room you're in. And also no Apple Home support. It's simple to connect the bulb via Bluetooth or the hub using the app. The app has one of the most polished looks, easy to label and separate light bulbs, set names to work with both your home search or smile assistant, but does require a hub for full use. The bulbs are nicely built. I've had my system now for about three years and haven't had it change any of the light bulbs once. They haven't given me any issues, which makes sense as they're rated for 25,000 hours or 22.8 years. They have a lumen of 800 brightness using about 9.5 watts of power for that. If anything's acting up, usually it's the voice helpers that are failing to recognize what I'm saying and not the Hue system itself. They're not as bright as people would expect them to be, but the color accuracy is actually really good. But at $50, you would expect them to be the best in class and it fell way short of that. At $179 for a system that includes three light bulbs, a hub and a button, it actually has the highest cost of entry of the, all the remaining light bulbs here. And we see the granddaddy of all smart lights finished with a very respectable 12 Ralph score, but the price is just preventing myself or almost anybody from it being a no brainer and as a recommendation. But if you already bought into the system and are a few lights in, you might wanna continue or you might wanna to wait to see what number one has in line for you as it might be a lot cheaper of a solution for the remaining of your lights in your home. Next, we have the ring light bulb system. Well, we're talking about big companies already. Let's talk about this one who is now owned by. One of the easiest pairing processes there is for all the bulbs here. You open the app, you scan the barcode that comes included in the box. You scan it into, the, into your phone, recognize that it says it will not work unless you have a hub. Go back to the store, pay $50 for a hub, go pick up the bridge, scan the barcode that comes with this bridge, then you can scan the barcode that comes with this one so you can actually get it to work. If you're acclimated to the Ring app, then you know it's clean aesthetic, as well as the neighborhood notifications that just come in all the time, letting you know everything happening in your neighborhood. It does integrate well with the Smile Company's assistant as they purchased them in 2018. You're able to control the light's brightness, no colors, unfortunately, on any of the light bulbs yet, and you're able to uh, give them a schedule and also assign different times uh, to turn on with different motion sensors that you might have. It does feel laggy when I put the input to the actual light taking effect. 
which makes sense as there is an extra piece that has to go from my phone to router to the bridge and back to the light. The light bulb itself is at the brighter side at 800 lumens. That's pretty much as bright as any of these will get. It's on the warm side at 3500 Kelvin. It's rated for 22.8 years of life and it uses 8.5 watts of power. Each light is reasonably priced at $1495, but does require a bridge to get all the functions out of it, which makes the initial buy-in a much higher one, which gives the ring system 13.5 Ralphs. The GE LED Plus. GE is actually on here twice. This is the LED Plus light, probably the easiest one to connect. You can add it to any socket in your house, pull your phone out, and then put it back down because there is actually no app associated with this one. It comes with a remote, which makes it ideal for younger children who don't have any smart devices or for anybody who is technology challenged like my pops. The bulb gets high marks for how bright it is at 800 lumens, and it's able to reach very low and very high Kelvins as well. It does sit on the box that it has 10 colors, but those who you just saw count as two of them. And the remaining, as you can tell, aren't as bright. Not quite the millions and millions that the other ones state they have. Most of those million colors, you rarely get to use on the other ones anyways, and you'll probably default into one of these colors. It does have four brightness settings at 10%, 40%, 70%, and 100%. I would give it higher marks, but none of those brightness effects are actually able to be used with the color functions. It is rated to last 13.7 years, which is actually tied for lowest among all seven light bulbs. No good, but coming in at $15, does not requiring a hub or a smart device, and coming with a remote makes it with the cheapest in the bunch. But the lack of dim controls while in color and no smart home integration and no app also does hurt the overall score, which it finishes with a 12.5 Ralphs total. C by GE, we arrive at the older brother of the last light. This one adds an app function, which opens up many more colors and dim functions. All of those functions will work with both the Smile Assistance Company's assistant and also the Search Company's assistant but not without another $30 being spent on a C Reach by GE. The light bulb was easy to pair using the C by GE app. It quickly connected and both the search company's assistant and the small company's assistant both found it and wanted to communicate with it, but without the hub, they were unable to. The C by GE app is able to control the colors, the brightness, set schedules, and also find any help you might need on any of the lights or the app itself. The light bulb is not as bright, only going to about 760 lumens, but the color accuracy is spot on. Since it's only rated for 13.7 years of range, it's tied with his little brother for last place in longevity. Coming in at about $25, not including the C Reach by GE to integrate to your voice assistants, puts it at about middle of the pack, where it then finishes with 12.5 Ralph's total score. Moving on to the Fiat Electric Smart Wi-Fi bulb. The installing process was fairly easy. That was a little more work to learn. Pressing the light turns it on and off. Having to long press to get into the light bulb settings is a little more interesting. Also, then having to confirm any light color changes just feels much more tedious. While in regular light bulb mode, it is very bright using all 800 of its lumens. But set to any color, the light just loses so much brightness. The app has some extra effects, but they aren't anything to write home about. You're able to customize the effects but the simpleness of the app just doesn't make it something that I really want to dive further into. So 800 lumens, but only shines really bright in regular bulb mode, none of the colors. 9 watts of power, 25,000 hours of life, or about 22.8 years range, which ties it with ring for the longest lasting light. It is nice that the bulb can go all the way from 2700 Kelvin all the way to 6500 Kelvin. At the set price of $15, it's very affordable, but overall, it ends up being really middle of the pack on most metrics, which leaves it here at 14.5 Ralphs total score. Next up, we have the LumiMan Smart Light Bulb. It has the simplest box looking almost like regular light bulbs until you connect it to the app called Plus Minus for some reason. Once you create a login and have the lights connect to it, it's actually the simplest to connect overall. Get into the app functions, you get to pick the light bulb you want to control or light bulb sets you want to control and quickly able to change the Calvin and the bottom, change the color with a full wheel of all the hard 12 colors or anything in between with the millions of options to choose from, which also you can set schedules of on and off times, wake times, sleep mode times, and also dusk to dawn times, AKA night light mode. Under scenes category, you get to pick from a couple presets and also get to customize the gradual and jump functions as well. You can pick the speed, 
transitions, and brightness, and up to eight colors, name it and save it to use for a later time. It also has an automation section where you're able to tell the light what to do under specific scenarios. We again see another light that's able to hit 800 lumens, which is the highest among all the ones we saw today. But it was able to do this while only pulling 7.5 watts, which is second just being inched out by the very next light bulb we have. The light also has the widest range from 2500 Kelvin all the way to 9000 Kelvin. Even more astonishing than that, it has a 28.6 year range, which makes it top of class above all the rest. At two bolts for 20 or 9.99 each, it is the second best priced. I really had a hard time not making this the absolute winner. It did so many things well, but it was just inched out in so many different categories by the following light. It defended with a very good score of 18.5 Ralphs. The Magic Home Smart Light. Again, another company that didn't spend a lot of money or time on the packaging, but instead put it into the app and the functions of the bulb. It was really easy to connect the bulb and what I believe is to be the best app where anything you can think of seems to be possible. Even performing the granddaddy of them all, Hue, which has a major company and millions of dollars in R&D, and Hue Labs, which still requires you to go out and find some of these functions that you want to do. With an RGB color gauge on top, letting you dial in the desired color you want, an outer wheel to pick a color, inner halves to be able to pick warm or cool. Next over, we have a full control from 2700 Kelvin all the way to 6500 Kelvin. Then we have the ability to make multiple presets, which can all be modified even further. A mic mode, which activates to any sound, and you can set the sensitivity for as high or as low as you want. And also able to connect to music lets you have your own rock show in your home. But the next two functions on the app are really what separates it from any other. We have cinema mode and picture color capture. While cinema mode takes a little bit more time to set up, it will give you full immersion. You can set up the lights around you and as things are happening on the screen, it will actually blend in the colors perfectly, making the drama and the action feel like you're right there. And lastly, giving you the ability to pick the exact color you want by pointing your camera at it, clicking capture that color, and now you have it to save for later. With 600 lumens, it is the least brightest of the bunch, but it does do that while only drawing seven watts, which is the lowest of the bunch. At 20,000 hours rating, or 18.3 years, it does put it middle of the pack. Where this light goes above and beyond is on the well-crafted app and the price. At 4 for 28 at the time of filming, it becomes the lowest cost of entry for smart lights at $7 each bulb. And it does finish with the highest score of 19 Ralphs. There we have it, seven light bulbs ranging in functions, apps, controls, smart home integration. Well, I do recommend the LED Plus for anybody who just needs the simplest solution or for any kid or not tech savvy user. If you're already in the ring family, adding a bridge and some lights would actually go really well if you wanna continue growing in that ecosystem. Q being the granddaddy of all these smart lights, it's just too expensive for me to give it a hard recommendation. Since a hub, three light bulbs and a button will rack, rack you up $180, you can buy 24 magic home lights for the same price, which is more than enough as 64 is the maximum you can have in one location of these. That's more than most homes can handle. And the podium, it does look like this. In third place, we have the Fiat Smart Light. The runner-up, we have the Lumiman Smart Light Bulb. Making Magic Home my number one recommendation. Getting the Golden Ralph of Approval. To learn how to make your PC go faster, you can watch the video here, or you can watch me review something else down here. Or consider clicking down here to subscribe. Like always, stay healthy, stay safe. LJ out. It's a standard used by Lubbock. Light, <clears throat> Lubbock. <laughs> Come on, get it out. <laughs> we good?